Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way of using layer masks to blend two images together. So I'll just jump straight into the example that I've got for you. So what we can see here, I've, I've taken this image here at sunrise and I've got the sun rising over there on the horizon in between that really small gap between the horizon and the, um, and the clouds above. Um, I you know, I only had a few seconds to actually get this shot that I wanted here with the, you know, the, with the sun and the rays going off, um, like you can see here in the image. Um, unfortunately, at the time, the foreground wasn't really doing what I wanted it to. There was like a big wave coming every few minutes um, that caused some nice uh, water flow over these rocks here, but the timing of that didn't line up with um, with the sun actually being exactly where I wanted it to be. So I had to take that in a separate frame. Um, so I've got that second frame here loaded into a second layer and I'll just make that visible now. So what you can see, this uh, this foreground looks a lot more interesting, there's a lot more going on than uh, this plain sort of boring bland rock that's just kind of sitting there doing nothing. Um, yeah, but with the good foreground, unfortunately, the sun actually hadn't uh, risen by the time you know I took this shot. So this one was actually before the sun came up. Um, but that's no problem because what I'm going to show you now is how to blend these two together into uh, into one image. Now the way to do this uh, is really quick and simple, and it's going to work. You know, it's quite an easy um, image to do this on because I'm going to basically cut across here um, and that's a pretty smooth line with um, you know anytime you're blending with water in the image it's yeah it's it's quite forgiving so I'll just show you what I mean um, so the first thing I want to do is have my top layer um, selected and come down and add a layer mask and with that layer mask highlighted I'm going to press command I to invert the color of it and that's going to turn the mask black. Now what that's done, it's completely hidden this um, this top layer. So I'll just show you, you know, making that um, visible and hidden makes no difference because the whole thing is being hidden by the layer mask itself. Now what I want to do is bring the foreground from this mask, uh, this mask out image, bring that foreground into this um, into this layer below. And the way I'll do that is um, with a white brush, opacity, I'll you know, drop that down a bit to around 70% and I will just make sure it's a 0% hardness on the brush. I'll large, um, make that brush a bit larger so we can just do a few sweeps across and um, just start painting with the brush onto here. So as I do this, you can see the uh, the foreground from this top layer being revealed. And just make sure I get that there. So that looks pretty smooth. Um, and yep, yeah, if I just make this mask visible here, you can see what's going on. So basically what this is uh, showing is any any areas of this top layer that are white are going to show and any that are black are going to be hidden. So what that translates to in the real image is if I just toggle this visibility off and on you'll see exactly what's happening here. So the um, Yep, the, the foreground or the white area in the mask is being shown and the sky and the sun from the layer below is um, is visible. And that's that's basically it. I mean what I might do here actually just um, I don't you know, I think this rock here I don't like how that's being covered up by the water, so I'll just make another adjustment to that. So if I want to undo any of what I've done here, I can just switch the foreground colour to black and just go back over that, making sure that I'm in the layer mask there and just reveal that um, I 
and uh, yeah that's about it so that's essentially uh, what I wanted to show you I mean this uh, this image here is like if you're wondering what this group up here is that I've got it's just a few um, adjustment layers that I've added just to make the image look a bit better than the flat raw file that came out of the camera so this is this is what the uh, the camera produced and this is just to make it look a bit better for the demonstration um, yeah so like I said essentially that is how you do it now if uh, if you want to check out some more cool tips like this then check out the link below or go to um, seascapephotomastery.com